Hello everyone! I wanted to show you the tool that the Amazing Sai has been working on for the Patreon channel with me. And we have been trying to revamp and redo some parts of the Xgen UI to make it easier to work and a faster workflow. And this is the tool that we came up with. It's still not done, it's an, on, on testing on Super Alpha at the moment. And the first thing that I will show you from the tool, so let me select this. So the first thing that I will show you from the tool is the first part called guide group. And on this guide group, we will have the possibility to select, let me just hide this one, different areas of the room and add them to a guide group. So if you click the guide group, you will have here a different guide group and it's going to be added to this group specifically. We have different settings. We have hide and show, we have locked, we have select guides. If they're unselected, I can select them again. And we have delete. We can remove single guides and add more guides. So let me just hide and create some basic layers on my groom first. Let's just create a new one. So I'm going to create some basic layers here. Hide them. Then the lower part, I'm just going to create one for the lower part. And now you can see that I lost one. So let me lock this group and let me just add this one too. And you can see that now I have this layer added and this layer it's added too. If I want to remove some layers, I can just unlock and click on remove layers and you can see that they are back into non-grouped uh, attributes. So now let me bring them up all again. So you can see we have different colors for each layer and each color you can change them to anything that you want. So let's say that this one is too pale. We need to update the color palette because it's a little bit too pale for sRGB. It's just where if you were without, it works good enough, but for the xRGB, it's still a little bit uh, dual. So we need to update the color palette to have a more saturated color because of the sRGB. So you can see here that I can select them all at the moment, but if I just want to select the green ones or the aquamarine ones, then that's going to be the only ones that I can select. If I show and hide, so let me just show my full room. You can see how slow it is and we're going to have one small fix for that too. Let me just hide this, hide the room and bring it back. And then you can see that I'm selecting just the ones that are inside of the group. And that one, I cannot select it for, uh, because I suppose it's duplicated. Let's see. Nope. Oh, it's because it's not on the group actually. So that one is completely locked and it's not on the group. Now let me bring it back into the group. Now it's working. For some reason she's a alien one. But as you can see, we have some small issues yet, but they are really, really small. You can select the guides if you want, but they have to be selectable guides. So in order to select them, and if I try to select the guides where they have the lock, I will not be able to select them at all. Now, if we want to add one guide, you can just add them. If I delete one of the groups, you can see that they are there. And if I want to add one part of the guides to the pink group, I can just add them and they will be there. So this is basically our setup for guides. So we can add and remove different guides from the groups. Let me just hide everything and bring back this into a new group. Let me just put uh, purple, darker purple color there. So you can see them all. And this is our guide manager. So it's going to be super useful and it's going to be super fast to iterate on guides. If we have a different group, if we hide this all, this is a different description, is a CC as selecting and adding a new one. You can also change the names, but at the moment we have a small issue with, with refreshing that we need to fix for the caching. So let me just put this one something like yellow, done. And you can see it there. So this is how it works, the guide layering tool. Now let me move to the second part of the tool that we have been working on, that is the bounding box. On the bounding box, if you see our groom, 
Ethereum is quite slow at the moment to process and it takes a lot of time and this is just a digit double. And sometimes if you don't have enough RAM, you will struggle to actually see and to process this amount of fur. So what we created, it's a bounding box. If you click here, it's going to create you a bounding box. I need to open again because I had one before and I deleted it in the wrong way. So we have one bounding box, it's green. And this little bounding box is this square that we have here. If I written back up my square and put it there in the hair, let me just move to update automatically. And put my bounding box there. Let me see if everything is correct. Yes, it is. So now let me go to five. And this bounding box is going to read and show me just the hairs that are inside. And you can see how fast this now. Let me remove the update automatically and show again. And you can see how fast is the iteration now that we have it there. If you have update automatically, it's going to update right away. If you don't, then you can just update the areas that you want. And this is going to create a really nice settings of working on just one area and you can debug. Now, one of the nice things that we add, if you ask what this button is, that we haven't worked on the buttons yet of the UI, so you can click it and this is going to set a preset. And this preset, the moment that we move to the next side and click it again, then we have two presets of this room. And if I click set, you can see that it goes back to the old position. So you can save uh, positions automatically of presets of the areas that you want to see and always keep the same area so you can iterate faster. Now, a different part of the tool that it's really, really nice it's if I select one of my layer and right click, I can set bounding box. And this set bounding box is going to take my crock box and it's going to show me just the area that is being affected by my, la my layers on the guide group. So if I go here, set bounding box is going to be just the area that is inside of the existing area of my blue aqua guides. So you can set uh, bounding box to guides. It's a little bit tricky when we have really this this really long hair, but works perfectly also for fur. Now, I will show you something really fun. Also, we have a color variation that it's adding and a small variation of hue variation to our guides. Let me just hide the hair so we don't see it. And let me bring up the color variation you can see now let me just bring up one of the guides like this one that with the color variation we start seeing a small hue change on all our guides and value change so this is going to add a really nice level of detail if you're kind of missing a little bit where it's each guide because they are look so alike so now we can add this layer of variation on top of that also, one of the most exciting parts that we are adding to the tool is the map manager tool. The map manager is going to color code all the parts of the room that are inside of our descriptions and it's going to bring up these different rooms and it's going to show us what do we have here and what canvases do we have here. If we go to paint the region mask, the only part that is important is that you put the name of the room because at the moment we don't have a split by grooms, but we will add a drop down menu where you can see every groom that you have or every description that you have, and you can hide and show each of them. Also, on top of that, we have something really nice that is that we can control and paint directly from this. Also, if you paint something, you can just save it. So let me go to the long hair mask that is here. And if I go here and change the values, let's say that I want to paint some white, I can just save from my mask there. And it's going to save my if file and it's going to save my ptex file. So if I now come here and paint my density too, then I have both of them saved. And if I show my groom, 
as is inside of the bounding box. You can see now, let me check, let me bring this up. Actually, let me just remove my bounding box for now. And you have the preset bags. If you bring your bounding box, you will still have your presets. So they don't go away even if you remove your bounding box. You can see, well, it's not that obvious because I don't have guides they're influencing, but you can see now that we are drawing here from inside of that area, that one that we just painted. So it was as good as it should be because we don't have guides there, but if I put one guide here and try to lift it up like that, you will actually see the hair spawning. That's way because I turned off my beautiful bounding box. And then you can see that now we have hair spawning from there and we create that from our map manager. You can adjust your clumps. You can adjust, in this case, I'm using a base map and tip clump so I can control all the levels there. Uh, the region masks and you can have the region mask that is affecting the clumps. And I can also move forward and affect the fringe. That the fringe map is here too. I don't have anything else on the fringe because the fringe is just blocked. But you can work on two grooms at the same time without the need of changing your UI from here. Also, one of the nice things that we are adding is that if you work on Exynos at the moment, there is a small bug that if you go to your clumps and you try to paint your density here, it's not going to work correctly because the map is not going to recreate it properly. But now, on miscellaneous, we have a create and fixed map. So this is mask of clone ones. Let me just create this map here. You can see it there. And if I click this point here, it's going to turn green my saving. And now anything that I paint here is going to get correctly paint. And then I can just change this. Say, okay, I don't want clumps here. Generate save and then generate and you can see that now it's actually working properly as it should be without the need of fixing anything on the actual paths because the fact it's created it's, it's fixed the actual path that we needed to have there with or fix here another nice thing that we have is let me just create a new groom here just hide these two grooms and I will select my geo, my skull, because this one is work with a skull. So this is going to be a test room. And I'm going to use placing and snapping guides. Let me just hide this because I don't need it. So this is my test room. And I'm going to create some guides here really fast. And we have the skull brush there. And also in the future releases, we will add uh, create shortcuts. So you can work directly with shortcuts shortcuts as the one that I have here. And also we will add an inject expression. So you will have custom expressions already set, like my density expression that you can see on one of my uh, blog posts, how to add that and the random expressions, how to add the percentage expressions and things like that. So let's say that I have this and I block half of the hair of the head. So I create a new guide system. Let's just put it this color and save, you have it here. And then I can come here and mirror left to right. Let's see if I did it properly. We're going to change this to X minus and right minus. No, nope, I didn't do it properly. So it was that and now mirror right to left. And this one is not perfect because it's not uh, same symmetrical. So let me just create a new one. So you can see the tool is still in development. We need to figure out some parts, but on a non-symmetrical object, it's going to have a hard time to do the symmetry. But if we have something like a sphere and we create a new description, test room 02, placing and snapping guides, and then we make the guides on half of it. We have them here. Let me add some more. So we add this. And we add them to our beautiful uh, guide manager. You can see that it works 
with any groom that you pick. So it's not uh, bounded by the grooms that you have. Changes the color and then right to left. And you can see that now we can symmetrize our guides and we can just add this into a new guide group if we want. Then just change the color. And we have it here. So on top of that, we have the guide manager, the bounding box, and on the future, we will add some specific grooms or some specific uh, shortcuts here that will make so much easier the life of the groomers. As the tool, it's a still on development. We will love to get some feedback. We will love to get some new ideas that we can implement for the first iteration of the tool. I hope you like this. And if you like, remember to support on Patreon that we are doing all these amazing little things on top of the tutorial, model releases and everything that you can get. We're going to start testing this tool soon and I will let you know all as soon as we have something to test more uh, easily and that could give us a better result for all, you, all of you. Thank you so much and thank you to the amazing side that is making this possible. He's insanely good. And he has been bringing all these amazing ideas and this is amazing execution of the tool that for sure is going to regenerate and revamp all the workflow that we have for uh, grooming. Thank you so much for seeing and I hope that you like. Please comment if you have any requests that we need to add or we want to add. You will have a Trello board also. Let me just show you the Trello board that we have been working here. It's here. So we have some nice ideas also. We're going to add a frame where you can, it's a, it's a floating UI that you can save uh, from a digi double the angles that you want to keep. So you don't need to move your camera, go to frames, use bookmarks, just one click and you will move directly to that frame specifically. We're going to add uh, excellent dependencies, fix paths. This one is almost done. We're going to work on an outer guide rigger so you can uh, outer rig all your guides wrap them to everything that you need. Uh, the groom wizard important just to import grooms with one click. The model validator, the groom transfer tool. So you're going to get a much easier workflow transferring grooms from XN to XN. The groom is color that is going to be able to scale grooms. We have some other things that are difficult to implement. And then we have the things that are in progress that we have the max manager the group guide, the grooming shortcuts, and the custom expressions. We're almost there, and we have some things already implemented that are the ones that I have been showing you here, and we will share this Trello board with all of you. This is the amazing side. And thank you so much. This is the small tool that we have been working. I hope you like it. The video is a little bit longer than what I expected, but I didn't want to do just a video with some text. I wanted to show a little bit of what's happening and the under wraps and a little bit of what's underneath on the backstage of the tool. We see a little bit of box, but it's starting to work really nice. And it's just changing all the way that I work around action. And it's making it so fast and so easy that it's insane that we don't have a tool like this yet. But we're super happy that we're getting this out soon. Thank you so much for following and remember to support the Patreon channel and remember to support us there and we will keep in touch.